I'm just going to show an example now for uh, making best use of connectors. So I'm going to go into the EN61346 catalog, go down to connectors, and I'm first of all going to show you an individual pin symbol. If I place that down, I can see it's got a pin ID and a pin number or pin name. On the drawing, it's normally just the pin name that you actually see. The important thing here is that for each connector device, if I go into electrical, view connections, then I can see that each one has two connection points. One is the primary one, the first one that's assigned, which is yellow, and any subsequent ones are pink. Now the important thing with C-Electrical is that only wires which are connected on a yellow side, the first side, will actually be assigned a wire number. So if I double click, I can assign a wire number there and say it's wire number 100. But if I try and double click on this side, it says, ah, here two connectors are plugged together. So you can only assign wire numbers where there is a, a, a primary connection. Now the expectation here is that you'll have another symbol, whether it's connected directly onto it or further away. And again, this one has a yellow, but this time at the top, and this means this can have a Y number. So I can call that Y number 101 pounds. But in between the two, you can't actually have any connection or any Y number because that's a virtual Y. It's just shown that those two are plugged together. And in fact, those could be represented simply by overlaying one on top of the other. So if I go into connections, uh, view connection, turn that off, that's how that would be looking. So if we work with groups of these, we have several of these and they're upside down, but I can place one in just to show an example. Then first of all, you're showing the pin side and then the socket side. And again, it's designed so that you can actually put the wire numbers before and after that. Now, the other important thing with connectors, let me take those off. If I copy both of those, copy those across by holding down control, I can copy those turn off the information there, you might notice that the pin name is not automatically incrementing. The sorting is, but the pin name is not. So just notice that, that as you're copying across, if you're working with individual plug and socket, that information doesn't get copied across. Now an important thing or a useful thing to be aware of here is that if you group the plugs and the sockets as macros, so if you select a group and choose block, the only option there is a group of a macro, click OK, then when you double click you can see the information for all of those in one dialog. So I can now say this is pin 1, using the down arrow I can then number those pin 1, 2 and 3. So I can very quickly get to there, I could change the information and say do I want to change it, I'll rename for all, and that's updated all of those. So again if I double click on this one I don't get the same information, I would have to window select from left to right, right click and choose block and group those as a macro. And again I've got control or I've got a quick way of accessing those terminal numbers without having to double click on each one. So creating those as a macro does mean that you've got a lot more control of that information. So if I was to take those two groups there, control C, control V and I can then paste those over here. And again, you can see those appearing as just two groups. So I could say this is another connector, number two, and XP, number two. And I can see the sorting going back, and the pin numbers were already set. So working as macros is a much quicker way of working.